Hello and welcome to another Excel VBA tutorial. Today's video is going to be very short, but what we're going to cover is how to run a Python script from Excel VBA. So the goal is we have a Python script, but we want to be able to run this from the Excel environment. So how do we go about doing this? More importantly, why would we maybe want to do this? Well, this is kind of building up along our lines where we've now kind of seen that we can control the office environment from Python. Uh, I'm kind of exploring how we can maybe integrate some of these Python aspects into Excel. And if we want to be able to integrate it, we're going to have to learn how to run Python programs from Excel. And then ideally what this would allow us to do is we could write our scripts in Python, simply add a module inside of Excel using a subroutine, and then we could run that Python script from Excel and then have the output appear in the workbook that we're currently working in. That's the overall goal. But in order to do that, we need to know how to run scripts from Excel. So first things. Right now, I have a Python program that's right here. And if I open it, this is the one that we built a couple days ago in Python where it basically goes through, it takes some Excel ranges that we already have in our workbook and then it exports them to a PowerPoint presentation. Now the workbook that I'm currently in does not have these ranges, but this script will go out, fetch the workbook, open it, and then what it will do is it will actually go and export the scripts. Sorry, not the scripts. It will go export the ranges for me. So the goal is to open this script, run it uh, all from within Excel. And so I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna go back into Excel. And then from here, we can go into our Visual Basic Editor. So from here, good to go. I've already added a subroutine, so if you haven't, please make sure to do that. And then from here, we're gonna create a new subroutine called Run Python Script. Put our brackets, good to go. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to declare our variables. Our variables. The first one is going to be just an object shell object. And this one, I'm just going to keep it as a generic object at this point. I've been exploring using libraries to do this. I haven't kind of solidified uh, what library we should be really using at this point. And so until I get a better answer on that, I'm going to just leave it as a regular object as it is. So that means we'll have to use late binding in order to run this. However, I think that's the more appropriate way at this point. If I find something else, I'll put out a new video for that. And then from here, there's two more variables that we need to declare. The first one is going to be called Python exe. This is going to be the uh, path to our Python exe file. And then we need the actual Python script. And so this is going to be the path to the Python script file. And these are both going to be strings. And then from here, what we can do is we can create a new shell object. And so this is very straightforward. We're going to set our object shell equal to VBA. We're going to go to the create object. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pass through a string called wscript.shell. This will create a new instance of the shell for us. And then from here, we're going to have to pass through some paths. So it's almost like we're using the shell in order to run an application and then have that application run a script. But we need to pa pass through the path to the application and the actual script itself. So the first one is we're going to provide the file path to the Python exe. And so this one is going to be Python exe, and that's going to equal. Now, very important, if your file path has spaces in it, it's got to be a triple quote. Otherwise, when you try to pass through the shell object, it's going to look like it ran, but nothing happens. And it's very misleading, and it gave me a headache when I was first trying to do it. Now, I already have my path uh, copied in another one, so I'm just going to copy these two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put them right down below. And so I'll just kind of go over them. So the first one is provide the file path to the Python exe. And then this one is provide the file path to the Python script. 
And so right here, my Python exe file is currently in Microsoft Visual Studio. So I go to the C program files 86, Microsoft Visual Studio shared Python 36, well, 3.664 bit, and then the Python exe. Keep in mind, triple quotes. It's because of these little guys were right here. They throw it off. However, if you look at the path to my script, I can keep that as just a single uh, quotation mark because there's no spaces in here. So this was on purpose. This is to demonstrate if it's got spaces, triple quotes. If there's no spaces, you can keep it to a single quote. Now that we've done that, we can run our Python script. And so we're going to run the Python script. And so we're gonna say, call the object shell method, and then we're gonna call the run method. Well, not object shell method, it's the object shell object and then we're going to call the run method. And then it's very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to pass through, pass through the Python exe. We're going to use the ampersand symbol and then Python script. The reason I'm doing this is because I have to pass through the exe file and then the script that I want Python to run for me. But other than that, this is all we need in order to run a Python script at its bare bones. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it. Hopefully there's no errors. So you can tell it's open it up. It just opened the workbook for me. Now what it did is it opened up PowerPoint for me and it ran the script that exports the ranges to PowerPoint. So very quick, very fast. It did that all pretty nice and quick for me. Um, now keep in mind, my script never actually closed the workbook or anything like that. You really should do that, especially when you're running it. You would wanna make sure you clear all instances of Excels or else what can happen is you have multiple instances of Excel running in the background, which is a nightmare to deal with. And then you've got to use the task manager to clear them all. So that's just kind of a forewarning. But again, we achieved what we wanted to. We wanted to run our Python script uh, to basically export our ranges. So pretty useful. We're going to obviously use this a lot more when we have some Python scripts that maybe we want to run dynamically in Excel or something like that. Um, so I think this is going to be very useful. So if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you. Also, if you could make sure to like the video, we appreciate the support. We want to make sure other people can find the video. And then also, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that way you get regular updates as we release new videos related to Python, VBA, and then at some point JavaScript for the... JavaScript Office API, which is a pain to work with. It's actually not that bad. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.